Cal, your assessment after today's game? Um, outstanding in the first 45 minutes. Uh, I thought some of our play was some of those fluids I've seen, but we didn't take our chances. That and that. Listen, I think what happens is then it's not only the players, but I think the fans start losing that. Oh, where's that goal going to come from? Because of our build up play and some of our opportunities that we created. And then obviously the, the glaring penalty decision that wasn't given is, is, is astonishing. Uh, we'll be having a conversation with the referee, just asking him what his thoughts were about that. Uh, and I don't know what his answer will be. It'll be an apology once again. And in the second half, I think we lost the fluidity. I think we looked very slow in a lot of the things that we did. Uh, and, and for me, that is something that we have to be better at. Uh, when we don't score in, in that first half, find that still that level of intensity to keep us on the front foot. We look completely disconnected. It almost looked like we, we, we haven't scored playing really well. Let's just start hoofing it long. Well, we got them opportunities through playing and playing long when they played high. And we played long when they were deep, and the game became a bit of a basketball match that we lost control of. And then a ridiculous set play that we got completely wrong. And it's something that I, I say, they, 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 them things stay internal, as you'd imagine. Um, just going back to the, the first half and, and the chances we created and the, the two penalty shots, like you say, um, what, what was the message at half time? Because we, we, we did have that momentum, didn't we? But it's just keeping well, it going. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes half times gives you, when you have that break, and you, listen, I thought we started the first five minutes, the second half really well. I thought we looked like we were on the front foot again. And then, one, and then the game sort of fizzled out, like the energy went out of the game. And once the energy went out of the game, I felt that we just lost that fluidity and that ability to land on things. But I think you lose with class. You win with class as well. And you lose with class. And you, you look at yourself first. And you accept responsibility for the things that you've done wrong. And you accept responsibility for what we've done collectively. And then you become better because of the consequences of that. Mm-hmm. But if people want to start putting your fingers internally in, in between our assume they say, oh, I didn't do this or I didn't do that. So I'm not winning with class. Um, that you, 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 then things go wrong. What we think we will do 100% is look at ourselves and put our shoulders back and better because of some of the acts today. Uh, but then build on some of the positivity as well and make sure that in forthcoming games that we're more ruthless in the final third. That's a big thing for me, the ruthless edge in that final third. I've not seen it all season yet and that's something that we've got to find. It's, it's about using that frustration which will, we will. obviously be there from, from today's game. We will, yeah.